Hi, what is an isopoint? Well, it looks like that. It looks like a difference curve. However, it's an isopoint. Iso stands for the same, right? It's here that we have the same output level. So ISO stands for the same, and that just means we hear, we hear on the curve on the same output level. So we are in production theory and we say, well, uh, a combination of a lot of capital and a little bit of labor, let's say that's point A, is associated with the same output level as a combination of a little bit of capital and a lot of labor, let's say that's point B. So both combinations of input factors, input factor one, V1, is labor, and input factor two, V2, is capital, capital K. Com both combinations here yield the same output level. So the intuition of an isoquent is same output level and we're looking for different combinations of input factors. So uh, we have in mind that the production function depends on two input factors, V1 and V2, and we also have in mind that in fact here we see, let's take input factor one, which is labor. We have such a production function with diminishing marginal productivity. And for the second input factor V2, which is capital, we also have this marginal productivity production function. So we start with a high productivity and the marginal productivity is diminishing. So these two guys, two, these two production function, production function number one, production function number two, putting, put them together and bring them into a V1, V2 diagram yield the, this isoquent, right? So you should see the combination that these two production functions are the core input for the, the isoquent. And we need the isoquent then for deriving what we say uh, optimal combinations of input given the costs for or the prices for the input factor.